Nowadays, it's easier than ever to feel behind in life. The pressure, the media, our parents, society, and social media put on us to succeed makes it feel like we're falling behind in a race. But what are we racing towards? Is it money? Is it finding the right job? Is it finding the right partner? Or something else? Hi, good listeners. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Cliff Weitzman. I'm the CEO of Speechify. And in this channel, we talk about life, how to be productive, how to make ourselves the best versions of ourselves. And today, about the feeling of feeling behind. The truth is, I've felt this way since I was in third grade. And it's something that I'm working on for many, many years. I know exactly what you're feeling. In the rest of this video, we're going to talk about the things that help me not feel this way and how they can help you too. The people that you should truly be comparing yourself to, there's just, there's just one person and it's yourself yesterday. So what I often do is I think to myself, especially in the beginning of the year or my birthday, is like, what would Cliff of five years ago think? What would 20-year-old Cliff think about 27-year-old Cliff? And I get really excited because 27-year-old Cliff is like the badass that 20-year-old Cliff dreamed of being in every sense of the word. And so if you feel a frustration when it comes to comparison, it should be that your younger self would not be proud of you. Then you're allowed to feel shitty and then go fix it. Another thing to consider, by the way, is the fact that your joy is often the difference between where you end up and where you started. And so if you started really high, it's very difficult to go even higher from there. And so there's like not a big difference for you to enjoy. Well, if you start low, you can build, 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 have perseverance, you know, go through adversity. And then that difference, you get to own that. You get to say, you know, I, I did that. And so really at the end of the day, what you should care about is that you should be able to provide for your family, provide for your partner, provide for your kids, feel self-actualized in the sense that you know that morally you are a good person. You're able to give love to other people and enjoy love that comes from them. You're able to create value in the world and not only contribute to your nuclear family, but to the rest of your community and ideally the world at large. And that's the true way to feel happiness. And if you were trying to compare anything, what you should compare is happiness. Don't compare money, don't compare houses, don't compare shoes, don't compare partners. And so the key is figure out where you derive your happiness. Is it movies? Is it music? Is it playing chess? Is it building companies? Is it being a mom? Whatever it is, figure out what the thing that gives you the most happiness is and become the best person in the world at that thing and dedicate all your time. The other thing is like, consider the fact that how far you are at right now is where someone wishes they were. Like imagine that you were a student at Brown University and you're really mad because you can't get a job at you know a tier one tech firm and you got rejected from Facebook and Google and you're like, oh my God, I worked for all these years and I didn't get a job and now I have to go and work at like Deloitte, whatever it might be. Dude, take a chill pill. Every high school in the nation wishes they went to Brown. Imagine someone who's in Ghana who wishes they could go to school in the United States or even be able to afford a higher education. Some people are just like, you know, wish they could eat the lunch that you're eating. The number one rule is feel grateful. So when I had this challenge, uh, around the same time, I was really frustrated because I was taking a very, very difficult computer science class. And so I started a gratitude journal. Even though I felt bad, I started a gratitude journal. And every morning I'd wake up and I'd write the three things that I was most grateful for. And every night before I went to sleep, I wrote the three things that I was most grateful for. And then I would write three affirmations. And by the way, my affirmations were, cutely enough, I am good at computer science. I am good at computer science. I am good at computer science. Because I felt that I was not good at computer science. I brainwashed myself to believe that I was. And if you do that, surprisingly, your attitude will change. I mean, the other thing is starting later can be a huge advantage in many different ways. Number one, you get to see how other people failed and how other people succeeded. And you can run the course after them. So it's just so much easier for me to run a company now after having seen what Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and Elon Musk have done. The playbook is already written. My life is so much easier than theirs. I, I, I can look at their lives. My life is a lot happier. The other thing is you gain more appreciation for it. You know, I started late in my education journey because I couldn't read for a long time, but I'm the most well-read person I've ever met. And it's because I cherish books in a way that most people don't. You know, with fitness, I started fitness late. I didn't play on a varsity team. I only gained height when I was 17. I was 110 pounds freshman year of high school when I was 14 and I grew late and then I was like wow it sucks that I'm not big I would like to become big so I started eating I started lifting and now I understand the inner workings of fitness to a degree that very few people who do and I'm gonna have that for the rest of my life and I got that because I started late because it's something that I didn't you know it's not God given it's earned um, same thing for my you know reading it's not God given it's earned both in terms of me teaching myself how to listen fast but also in terms of me literally writing the software that enables me to read so things that are earned don't happen in a blink of an eye they take a long time Mark Zuckerberg is naturally a person with ridiculously high aptitude when it comes to computer science and product as well. And he was at the right place at the right time. Did you know that Bill Gates and Steve Jobs were both born in this exact same year? That's the point in time where it just made the most sense to build an operating system based computer company. Right place, right time, baby. Bill Gates' mom was on the board of IBM. That's how he got the meeting to get the uh, IBM to implement DOS. Now, I'm not taking anything from Bill Gates. He's probably the person in the world I admire the most. But my point is, you have to take all these factors into account. Each person has their own trauma in their life. Identify yours. Literally everybody, everybody has it. And it sets them back. It doesn't matter if it's that you have asthma, Theodore Roosevelt, 
if you were deaf, Edison, who invented recorded sound, um, if you have dyslexia, if you have ADHD, if you have depression, if you have bipolar, it doesn't matter. Every person has a challenge. You can overcome your challenge. So what would I say to someone who feels like they're behind in life? Number one, you're not. Life is not a race. By definition, you can't be behind. Number two, though you can't be behind in life, everybody feels this way. You're not the only one. There's so many people in the world who wish that they were in your place. Take a moment, write down three things that you're grateful for every morning, three things that you're grateful for every evening, and do that for 30 days straight. Your outlook on life will change. Realize that life is about giving love to others more than anything else. Finding the things that you are happy, make you happy, and investing in them. And then everything else after that is just a bonus. Click the link below to download the Speechify Android app, iOS app, and Chrome extension. It changed my life, it'll probably change yours. If this video was useful to you, click the subscribe button, click the like button, leave a comment for how you are going to make sure that you don't feel behind in life. If you're someone who's into computer science and programming, if you're good at design, product management, if you have high personal agency, you take initiative, you have fire in the belly, and a large, fast aptitude for learning, we'd love to work with you at Speechify. Send us an email. We'd love to potentially hire you. And as always, happy listening.